Welcome everyone to one more session in data structures and algorithms tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to talk about tree data structure. So what is tree data structure? And yes, before starting with tree data structure, do subscribe to the Edignite channel if you haven't subscribed to it yet. Okay, so a tree data structure is a hierarchy. Okay, so let us say this is uh, the root. Okay, if this is the root or origination of tree data structure, it will have it will have we can say it will have two of its children in the hierarchy okay so these are known as children okay and over here we have two more children okay two more children so let this be one and let this be two okay then we can have one more child of this and one more child of this okay so here tree is a hierarchical representation. Okay, this is a tree. Now I am naming the nodes. Okay, let this be 1, this be 2, this be 3, this be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Okay, so here we have these many nodes. Okay, now there are some terminologies in... Uh, in a tree data structure okay there are various terminologies in a tree data structure so for that first first uh, terminology first terminology is root okay the node from which the tree originates is known as root okay root is the topmost node okay root is a topmost node now we have we also have one more terminology that belongs okay that denotes the bottom most nodes okay that is leaf okay leaf which is uh which denotes the bottom most okay the bottom most bottom most nodes okay bottom most nodes we, we can name it as nodes yes we can name it as node because this is linked to this okay one is linked to two and three and the two and three are linked okay four and five are linked to two six and seven are linked to three okay so this way all the things are linked to each other okay now these are known as child okay or children of one okay they are known as children so over here let me write children okay there are several terminologies in uh, uh, in a tree data structure there are many terminologies but over here we will discuss only the important ones okay children of one they are known as children of one okay and together they are also known as siblings okay who originate okay uh, the the nodes which have same parent are known as siblings okay they are known as siblings okay so children and siblings both of them are very much similar they are analogous to the real life uh, examples right and now let us uh, let us look at one more terminology okay that is ancestors and descendants okay ancestors and descendants let me just move up a bit okay so over here over here as you can see that we have one connects to 2 as well as 3 okay 3 connects to 6 as well as 7 okay so uh, 6 we can say 6 as can we say 6 is a descendant of 3 yes we can say 6 is a descendant of 3 as it uh, if we move up from 6 okay if we move up from 6 we can get 3 okay we can also write that 6 is a descendant of 1 okay or 1 is ancestor of 6 okay as we can when we move up okay when we traverse through this path we encounter one but there is no link between six and two okay there is no link between six and two so two is uh, neither the descendant nor the, uh, the ancestor of six okay so over here we are you can say that uh, you can you can uh, use the analogy you can use the analogy of a real life family tree okay and you can say that 
only the blood relation will count okay so 3 is parent okay 3 is parent of 6 and 7 okay so this is known as parent okay so i am just writing parent of 6 and 7 okay now 6 okay 1 is 1 will be known as ancestor okay ancestor of 6 and and 6 will be known as descendant of 1 okay someone who succeeds 1 okay someone so all these 3 3 6 and 7 okay all the nodes are actually descendants of 1 okay if we talk about descendants of 3 then descendants of 3 are 6 and 7 okay descendants of 2 are 4 5 8 and 9 okay so and ancestor of 9 ancestor of 9 can be 8 okay it can be 4 it can be 2 and it can be 1 okay so it can father you can say that father of 9 can be 8 okay and grandfather of 9 can be uh, 4 gra great grandfather of 9 can be 2 and great great grandfather is 1 okay so you can apply the analogy of a real life family tree over here okay so this was about the ancestors and descend, uh, descendants okay about ancestors let let me just write ancestors okay and ancestors okay as well as descendants ancestors as well as descendants okay ancestors are the one okay are the nodes that are accessible by traversing upwards okay by traversing upwards so they are the nodes accessible 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 by traversing upwards okay by traversing upwards from a node and node which uh, the descendants are nodes that are accessible by traversing downwards okay by traversing downwards so this was about notes okay and yes one uh, one more thing to note over here leaves are also known as external notes okay A external notes okay and the the notes which have at least one child okay are known as internal notes okay so we also have one more terminology that is internal notes so internal internal let me just write nodes over here. Okay, internal nodes. So, nodes having nodes, nodes having greater than or equal to one child. Okay. So, nodes having at least one child are known as internal nodes. Okay. So, over here you see that two, three, Okay, 2, 3, 4 and 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, they are internal nodes. Okay, so this was uh, the, this was about internal nodes. Okay, now what about height and depth? Okay, about height as well as depth. So, both of these concepts are very, you can say, they are very important. The concept of height as well as the concept of depth in trees okay so let us first talk about height okay height of a node is number of edges between the uh, we can say between the parent and the deepest leaf okay between the parent and the deepest leaf and now you will say what do you mean by deep deepest leaf okay Number of so deepest leaf depends on the depth and depth is number of edges. Okay, number of edges, number of edges. Okay, between two nodes, between two nodes that we are considering. Okay, number of edges between two nodes, number of edges that connect two nodes. Okay, so suppose that. We have a binary tree. Okay, let me let me draw a binary tree, tree over here. Okay, let me draw one more binary tree over here. So I am drawing this binary tree. Okay, 
and I will draw this as well as this okay and I will draw two more nodes over here okay now uh, suppose that we want to find height as well as depth of this particular node okay depth is this this is known as depth okay this is depth this is depth and this okay from here to here it is known as height okay height of the node okay now let us consider it in uh, let us uh, define it okay let us define it so the distance okay the number of edges between the root node and node that is under consideration is known as depth okay so over here depth is true depth of this particular node okay depth of this particular node is 2 okay now what about height okay height let us consider this node also okay so over here uh, over here which one is the deepest node is this the deepest okay is this the deepest or is this the is left one the deepest or the right one the deepest the deepest one is the right one okay the deepest one is the right one so height is equal to okay height is equal to the number of edges between the the node under consideration and the deepest node okay so height is equal to 2 okay if uh, you we did not have any node over here okay over here we did not have any node over here then height would be equal to 1 okay oh now height is equal to 1 height is equal to 1 okay so this was about depth and height okay over here this node is 0 depth of this uh, node is 0 this node is 1 okay then we have okay so here we have 1 then 1 and 2 2 this node is it's 2 over here okay so we have depth and height of nodes okay we have depth and height of nodes this way okay depth depth is the the number of edges between that particular node and node under consideration okay and height of a particular node okay height of a particular node is the the number of edges between it and the deepest node okay and the deepest node so what will be the height of this root node what will be the height of this root node please pause the video and calculate the height and write in the comment section below what will be the height okay so i assume that you have paused the video okay so over here height will be one two okay one two three let us consider one more node over here so this one will be the deepest node okay that i taught so one two okay one and two then we have three and four so height over here will be four okay because the number of edges from the root node to the deepest node is four so height will be equal to four so over here height is 4 and you can say that the depth of that particular node is 0 okay so this was about uh, this was about height and depth now let us talk about degree of node okay degree degree of a node degree of a node okay degree of a node is uh, is equal to the number of children of that node okay it is equal to the number of children of that so here we will count only the direct children and not the indirect children okay so suppose this is a node okay suppose this is a node so here the degree is equal to 3 okay degree of this particular node okay we are taking this node under consideration okay so degree of this node will be equal to 3 okay and the degree of tree what is the degree of a tree okay degree of the whole tree degree of the whole tree is uh, equal to okay is equal to highest degree highest highest degree okay from all nodes okay from all nodes so suppose that we have a binary tree okay suppose that we have a binary tree in this particular manner okay 
we have three children of this not the binary tree actually only a tree okay i am not talking about binary tree over here okay binary tree is very different thing that we will learn in the next lecture so over here what will be the degree of nodes okay over here degree of this node is 2 degree of this node is 3 okay degree of this node is again 2 okay here we have 0 degree and over here also we have 0 0 and 0 degree okay and over here this has degree 2 here it has 0 and over here it has 0 so what is the highest degree over here okay highest degree over here is 3 and thus 3 is the degree of tree degree of tree okay so this was about degree of node and degree of tree and yes this was about tree and its terminologies okay so let us summarize what we have what we have studied okay all the terminologies first of all we studied about the root node okay root node and children as well as parents okay as well as siblings okay this is very much analogous to the a family tree a family tree in real life okay now what are leaf leaves are the bottom most nodes okay they are bottom most nodes or nodes that do not have any children okay so over here leaves are uh, 6 okay 6 7 and 9 which do not have any children okay bottom most node in a higher hierarchy now ancestors are and the nodes that are accessible when we traverse up uh, traverse upwards from a node okay so the ancestors of six are three and one okay they are three and one and over here we have uh, we have descendants okay descendants are found out by traversing downwards from a particular node okay so descendants of two are four five eight and nine okay over here you see four five eight and nine the descendants of node 2 okay now what are internal nodes no internal nodes are uh, nodes having at least one child okay more one or more than one child okay and the height height over here is number of number of edges number of edges oops sorry over here it is number of edges between between the node under consideration okay root okay root and deepest node and deepest deepest node okay over here i am considering root it can be any node okay it can be any node okay so over here uh, we had seen a tree okay we have seen a tree where the depth is equal to 2 okay depth is equal to 2 and height is equal to 1 okay height is equal to 1 and now what is degree of node degree of node is number of children in a node and degree of tree is highest of all degrees okay highest of all degrees of nodes so this was about trees okay this was about introduction to trees that's it for this particular session let's meet in the next session thank you everyone